Hi. Hi. How are you? Uh, you look great. How's your... What? Huh? Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, I was just going to say, how's the job going? Yeah, fine, fine. Vice Principal, nothing. <laughs> no, really, everything is good, thank you. Mm -hmm. Hi. Excuse me, would you like a drink? I love whatever she's having. White wine. White wine it is then, thank you. So, how's Billy? He's terrific. He, he had a little accident a, a couple of weeks ago. He has a little scar, but I've been worrying too much. It was my fault anyway. Oh, no, don't blame yourself. You can't blame yourself for every bump and scrape. Thanks. Actually, there is something specific I'd like to speak to you about. Yeah. So, last time we saw each other, I was in quite a bad way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I've been getting all the help I need out in California. And I'm healing, I'm growing. Um, and I want my son back. What? You're not having him back? Who walks out of the house 15 months ago? What gives you the right to come back in? And no, don't you get all defensive with me. I'm his mother and I have never stopped loving him. I'm not getting defensive. What makes you sure he wants you? What makes you so sure he doesn't want me? Okay, we're not going back and forth like we did for eight years. You can't deny me access to my baby. You do what you have to do and I'll do what I have to do. Okay, fine. Okay, sure. One that looks ridiculously shit. Oh, we've been trying to sell that for uh, eight years. It's been on the market. Well, you see, this old couple came in and said they wanted it because yeah. they thought it was a bungalow. But obviously, it's not a bungalow. It's no. a fucking two story house. And I said to them, Can you know, just install a fucking style it? And she said, With the amount he has seizures, sitting on that and go, oh, oh, oh. It's just going to trigger him, isn't it? Do you know why that house is unsettled? Oh. There's rumours about it, I'm telling you, like, oh, yeah, on but, the estate, like, yeah. Sarah could have lived there, there's been there, he hasn't, but, you know, it's like... It's but, not too far from the old genie, you know? <laughs> it's true, we've got the one that everybody says is harder to fuck. Can't relate to all this. Just can't relate. I don't know, it's ridiculous, man. It's really hard to sell, it's just like... You should see it. It's, it's abandoned. It looks abandoned. It looks, it looks abandoned. <gasps> you know what it looks like in a monster house. Oh, yeah, that is. Fucking monster house. <laughs> there's always got to be a dodgy house in that film. There's always, there's always a fucked up house. And a creepy old guy living in it. That's why I said to this old couple, you guys are perfect. Because mm -hmm. you're a fat chick and he's an old man. What is it like? People who are selling it for you don't want to pay it, they don't want to spend the money to make yeah, money. It's not. Well, no one has fucking money nowadays, everyone's in debt. That is some real truth, right? There. So, you. Some real stuff. You need it. You I think it's just going to stay on the market. I think it's going to stay there. It looks like some art of a horror movie. But... No, but this is the thing, Joanne. Fucking Joanne. Our boss, Joanne. Fucking Joanne. Face like a fucking wet lettuce. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she looked at us and she just goes, Have you not sold this worth the house yet? And I'm like, Well, Joanne, you try fucking selling a house with mold and rot and people finding out that a guy may or may not have died in that. And she was like, You yeah, sell it fashion. Fucking Joanne. Make us sound great. Fucking hate Joanne. Hating you, great. What we need is we need, we, need, we need the perfect fire. We need like someone who's. We need a blind man. Or a horror fanatic. We need a horror fanatic, that's what we need. Tell it to one of them directors who make horror movies. Yeah, yeah. I'm a horror fanatic, but you ain't selling this house to me. Oh, you, you're in debt. You, you, she, you don't have the money to buy houses. That is not my <laughs> I'm not <laughs> 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 Is it relevant? Uh, no. I just can't. Yeah, I just sell it to one of them. 
the horror horror people horror directors someone without a life someone who could use it for something because we're not going to sell it to an actual sell it person to, what's his name what's his name the, the one who's just directed that do you know that oh, what's it called the one that's just come out the remake what's it oh, what's it called come on Come on, the, the film just came out last week. Mm. I, I went to see it. Oh, God. Oh, what, right, you and Jane going back to the cinema? Come on, you know, the one what? that was brought in. It was, fa- it was famous. We've got people I don't know. There's so many know. famous movies. Oh, wait, wait, I don't know what you're talking about. Is that a Hitchcock thing? Yes, the Psycho, the Psycho. Psycho? Oh, wait, you so want to get made it. it. Why, the original was great. Yeah, so me and Jane went to see it last week. It's literally just a shot for shot remake of the original. It's oh, so crap. Wait, so who plays the old face? Get this. Wait. Vince Vaughn. Oh, <laughs> fucking hate that guy almost as much as Joanne. <laughs> Speaking of psychotic mothers and the lady killer sons, how's things with you and your parents for them? Uh, okay, I guess I mean, I've really seen them in ages, so it's hard to tell. What do you mean? After what, what went on with my parents, it caused like a, a ripple effect on my family. Mm. I'm really sorry to hear that. Dude. Honestly, honestly, it's it's okay. I I don't blame my dad. He did what any father would do in that situation. When your abandoning wife turns up and she's blaring about the fact that she's got the rights to take a son mm. after leaving us in the first place. It's ridiculous. I mean, how could you do something like that? Leave your hardworking husband and you innocent child for 15 months and then to rock back up and claim what's yours on his left. Silly. So my dad was traumatised for years at the fact that he was scared of me and my mum leaving. Oh. And it sunk him into deep depression and the fact he lost his job after focusing on us. Fuck. He's going to be alright. I'm not too sure. I haven't seen him since moving here for work in uni, I don't speak to him anymore. But anyway, what a scary horror he makes without psychotic mothers, am I right? Uh, <laughs> Where's it any good? Mm. <laughs> yeah, so that's the air, uh, that's the story with the scar. Never would have been able to do that, you're so adventurous. Yeah, well I have my dad to thank for that. He was always the one catching me falling out of trees. And then my mum, she was the one bandaging up the wound, so they made the perfect pairing. God. Are you really close with your family? Yeah, we're never really that close, I guess. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean cry. No, it's okay, you're not crying at all. It was mostly when we had my back growing up, and not my dad. He was always at work most of the time. So you're close with her then? Yeah, I'd be lost without her, honestly. She left for a while when I was about six. Came back much stronger though after figuring out what was going on with Dad. Oh, what do you mean by that? So, the marriage wasn't all that great to begin with. Um, she was able to leave with her own well-being. She came and got me after a year, though. It's been so strong to go through all of that. Yeah, it wasn't all that bad. I mean, my mum was mainly my rock growing up. <sighs> my dad, he didn't handle things all that well. Well, I'm glad you at least have her. A cheers to strong mothers. To strong mothers. So, Billy, you know why you're here, don't you? Yeah. It's. I'm really struggling. I understand that, and it's. It's good to have a sounding board that isn't conflicting, so... I mean, I don't, I don't think my mates understand quite what I'm going through. It's hard to talk to anyone, to be honest. I think peers would be different, but maybe speaking to somebody who 
from outside that you, you're not aware yeah, of. Sometimes I find it easier talking, <laughs> talking to someone Strangers. I don't know, strangers, yeah. so I can just get my opinion out there. Yeah. Well, that's what I want you to do with me. So whenever you're ready, you say how you're feeling and if we can sort those feelings out, get you back on the right track. I mean, it's mainly my childhood <laughs> and growing up wasn't that great. No. Um, it's just my parents, they, they split up for quite a while and it's, I don't know how to put it, I'm not really too good about talking about it. That's alright Billy, I'm just going to take some notes. It's nothing for you to worry about, it's just so that we can look back and review things at the next session. It's just a constant arguing. I was only young at the time, I had to go for all that, it was... Just I know, it's so a difficult time. Well, well, I'm sure you're here, so that's a, a big step to trying to get it sorted. Yeah, hopefully. So between us, we'll, we'll sort it out. You just have to be honest with yourself. I know, but it's hard. It's... Going back to those memories, I mean, I barely speak to my parents now because of it. It's... And you don't know which side to choose either. It's that... You don't know if to choose my mum's side or my dad's side or who did what what caused it, it's just, I'm torn between the two and it's just, do you know what, it's really annoying having to sit there and try and decide, like, I feel guilty for loving my mum, I feel guilty for loving my dad, it's just driving me insane. Yeah. But the fact that you've addressed that now, you know, as you've grown through that, and you can see that nobody's infallible. So you can't blame your mum or you can't blame your dad. They both loved you and they both wanted you. Yeah. And didn't understand the other part of you, really. But even the times I do get to speak to them and I try and, I can't even tell them any problems because it brings up the memories for them. And then I've got to choose a side then again and it's, I just can't do it which is why I've come here. I can't talk to my friends, they don't get it. I can't speak to my mum and dad about it. So I just feel alone, I just can't. So I had to be like, no, no offence, but I had to resort to coming here just to speak about. I'm not offended. You've done the right thing. It's a big step, yeah. but it's a step in the right direction. get to the point where I can just learn to forgive. Because stuff like when you're like, when you of a young age, it just messes with your head. It does. Seeing them fight, being there while they're fighting, as a young child, just looking up at them. People, you, your parents, you're supposed to respect, you're supposed to love, you're supposed to feel, so, to be honest, I struggle, sometimes I do struggle to feel for them. Because I think, you've brought it on yourselves. It's almost like you were having to be the parent. Yeah, just sit there and try and... I've had to grow up quick. Yeah. Just... Sorry. It's okay, don't worry. I've got plenty of time. Just being there, just having to grow up. I mean, I struggle to maintain relationships. I mean, I can't even maintain a relationship myself because of it. But is that because you're scared that you'll end up like your mum and dad? Or yeah, uh, yeah, just... Because I'm thinking of starting to fall well in a relationship. I think to myself, would it go like my mum and dad will turn into my dad? Mm. I just get too scared. I just, I'm scared to commit. It's difficult, but there will be a time when 
you're at one with yourself and you feel yeah. that you can move on and you'd be so much better for it for sorting yeah. it all out in your head so because it's no much. good keeping it all up there because yeah. that's tormenting you it's just good to let it out like being there now I can just you could just say yeah. anything nothing's out of bounds nothing will go any further it's just between you and I So, how are your parents now, Billy? Yeah, they're, they're good, you know. Things are still a bit raw. I do understand, and I am trying to forgive. Good. But I suppose it's taken me my own mistakes to realise that. <laughs> but I suppose that's parents' fear. I'm afraid it is, yeah. <laughs> the time I spent away from it made me realise that. I do need them. Of course. Because white wine doesn't want you back. No. <laughs> so yeah. They're good. Good. <laughs>